right, in this Regents Chemistry video, we're going to go through questions 28 through 30 of the January 2013 Regents exam. Uh, so question 28, it says uh, nuclei of uranium-238 atoms are, uh, so uranium is a radioactive element, so right away we can eliminate answers 1 and 2. We know that these uh, nuclei are going to be unstable because anything that is higher than atomic number 84, and if we look at the periodic table here, uh, uranium, actually we have to go down a little farther into the uh, D and or into the uh, lanthanide and actinide series. Uh, so uranium down here, atomic number 92. So being that that is over atomic number 84, so uh, polonium here, anything that's 84 or above is going to be radioactive. So uh, uranium obviously fits that case. Uh, so if we look at this, uh, the first thing we can say is that uh, nuclei of these uranium atoms have to be unstable because they are, again, radioactive. Uh, which means that by definition they are unstable. So we're looking at answer choices three and four here, and then what type of uh, uh, n nuclear uh, emission are these going to, uh, well, kind of gave it away here, uh, emit, but uh, what type of nuclear decay are these going to undergo? So this is going to undergo alpha decay. Uh, so in alpha decay, remember, this is an emission of alpha particles. So we have uh, uranium, which is 238 uh, in uranium, or sorry, <laughs> 238 and 92 and uranium here. Uh, so when this undergoes alpha decay, what's going to happen is it's going to basically kick off an alpha particle like we've talked about uh, in class, right? We have the alpha particle just gets kind of kicked off here, and then what's going to be left is whatever makes this equation add up uh, mass-wise and charge-wise. So if we have 4 plus something has to give us 238, then this would end up being 234 and then 92 has to be 2 plus something, that would be 90. So then we can actually decide which element this is going to be. Uh, atomic number 90, that would be thorium here. Uh, so this would be 23490th uh, would be the compound that's left over after the first alpha decay of uranium. But again, just know that alpha decay is an emission of alpha particles. For 29, which emission has the greatest penetrating power? Uh, so all of, these, uh, all of these particles have mass except for number three here. Uh, so gamma radiation is pure energy. Uh, so there's, there's no mass to gamma radiation. Uh, so this is going to have the highest penetrating power because it has no mass, it has a very high energy. Uh, so if you think of, uh, let's say, you know, uh, you're shooting at a dartboard and you kind of throw the dart not so hard then it's not going to penetrate the dartboard that hard. I mean, we're talking real darts here, not electronic darts, but, you know, if you throw the dart harder at the dartboard, it's going to penetrate the dartboard uh, further. So this gamma, gamma radiation has a very high energy, uh, so it's going to have the highest penetrating power. Uh, you can also think in terms of the mass. If the gamma radiation has no mass, it's going to be easy for that energy to penetrate. Whereas if we think about a proton or a beta particle or a positron, uh, these all have mass. So if we think about the dart example again, let's say that the gamma radiation is a dart, uh, not a lot of mass in the tip of that dart, uh, and let's say the, par the proton or the beta particle is like a golf ball or something, and we throw the golf ball at the dartboard, it's not really going to penetrate the dartboard, it's going to just gonna bounce off because it's got a lot more mass and not as much energy, it's not going to be able to penetrate uh, as much as something with uh, l lower mass, or in the case of gamma radiation, no mass, and having high energy would be able to penetrate uh, obviously a lot uh, further. So again, the answer here is gamma radiation. For question 30, uh, the dating of geological formations is an example of the use of radioactive nucleides. So we've talked about carbon dating in class, right? So this is going to be uh, radioactive nucleides because that's radioactive dating, radiometric dating. This, these are all talking about the same thing here uh, because the decay of these elements over time allows us to measure those quantities and basically uh, date someone, uh, date, <laughs> date something uh, relatively uh, relative to other substances. So again, radioactive dating, a pretty basic concept. Uh, this should be pretty easy points there. All right, so uh, next video, we'll start off with uh, question 31 of this Regents exam. Thanks.